Hey, it's Joel, 3D printing nerd, and uh, last time you saw me, I believe I printed this Millennium Falcon on the TiVo Little Monster, and it printed like this. It did a great job, and the Millennium Falcon looks awesome, but there are more Star Wars things to print, more specifically a Star Destroyer, and I wanted to utilize the TiVo Little Monster because it can print really tall, so I went looking on my mini factory, and I found one. So this model by Luca is titled Imperial Star Destroyer Class 2. In the printing details, he does say to print at given scale, which is funny because I'm not going to. So I'm going to scale the model to 200%. I used Simplify 3D and it gave me an estimate of 72 hours for this model, which is crazy. But what the heck, let's do it. Printed at 0.1618 millimeter layers, it had two perimeters, three bottom layers, four top layers, 10% infill, supports were enabled. I used glue stick on the heated build plate and cupcakes taste good with sprinkles. I used filamentum vertigo gray filament for the base and then it was some other filamentum gray filament for when I switched it out. So as you can see from the time lapse, this piece fell over during the print. This is the engines for the ship. And when you're printing more than one model at the same time on a build plate, if one falls over, this can happen. And the other two models were quite large. I still had filament on the roll, and so I opted to just let it go. And when you do that, the extruder is still gonna pump out filament where it thinks this model needs to be. And when it moves the head over the next model to print, it's just essentially going to act like that model is a wipe wall. And a little strand of filament is going to build up and be taken away from the nozzle as it goes to print on the next model. And you can see this in the time-lapse footage. You can see just a rat's nest of gray filament building up to the side of one of the models, and that's because it was trying to print this, and it wasn't there. What's kind of neat about the little monster, I mean, regardless of print quality, is it has a bunch of cool colored LEDs up top, and so when you're printing in the dark, it looks like a little rave. So if you're printing more than one model at a time on a build plate, and something like this happens, it's really up to you to decide whether or not you want to let it go, or you want to stop the print, fail it, and throw away the filament, or recycle it, or do whatever you do with your failed prints. I opted, of course, to let it go, and I'm glad I did because the rest of the models printed beautifully. And so what was left on the build plate, once I got everything off and I got the supports off, was a big pile of supports and a rat's nest of filament. It looked like progress. So what was this, huh, is now this. I reprinted them, and they look great. The model does have some issues that are apparent. It's just because of design, and we'll talk about those in just a little bit. Here's this part. That looks great. And here is this part. Look at that. It's freaking huge, and I love the heck out of it. Oh, it's just, it's massive. I mean, it could be bigger, I could go bigger, but this was kind of fun. So the model looks great, and Luca did a great job with a lot of the, the greeblies and the detail that is left on the outside of the model. And it looks pretty cool in this filament. I most likely will paint this and then weather it to look like a Star Destroyer that's seen some battles, but for now, I'm quite impressed. The engines, uh, they go in the back, and they fit, well, they kind of fit like that. And I think they look okay. I believe there, there's an orientation. So they either go this way or they go this way. I will figure it out when I actually glue it all together. Uh, you can pressure fit them in, but then you will need to actually use some CA glue or something to hold it in place. So Luca, if you see this, uh, I have some suggestions as far as the model goes. I think what you've done here is brilliant as far as the Star Destroyer goes but there are ways you could make it a lot easier to print and not use nearly as much filament. The engines, for example, uh, you have in this sort of orientation and there's not a lot on either side that can touch the build plate. I would suggest maybe making the engines so they could print like this. There's a lot of detail on the bottom and the back piece of this that no one is ever gonna see because it's going to exist inside the model. So what's back here, you can eliminate, make simple, make, make easy to print, easy to build supports upon, and then you could have that on the build plate like this. As far as all three of these go, this was on the build plate like this, and this was on the build plate like this. So this part, the tower where all the people sit and have all the, the electronics trying to fight the rebellion, it's not as detailed as it could be because it was in this orientation and this was built upon supports. 
being that the top of the model and especially this part of the model is going to be looked at very closely for detail, what you might want to do is figure a way of slicing off the top of this so that it could be printed separately or in a different orientation, utilizing a lot less support or support on surfaces that aren't going to be paid attention for their detail. So if you had it like this, you could easily, you could easily slice off that part, that top part right there and create yourself a, a really easy printable piece with a lot of high detail possible in these areas because they're not gonna have to be printed on support. Also, because there's multiple pieces, I do have to line this up by my eyes. And there's no registration marks or place to put pegs or anything to keep it together to hold it in place while I apply some glue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put blocks down. I'm gonna have this so it can set like this. This will be level and I'll be able to put this on top, put some CA glue down, get it set just right and then thanks to gravity, it will hold it in place and I can use some of this Insta Set Accelerator to spray around the edges to make it set fast so that it's sturdy and then the glue will harden over a half hour and we'll be good to go. My final piece of advice for Luca, the model builder here, is to clean up the model just a little bit. So the model is hollow and you can see there, and you can see there, there's space on the inside. But all of these bits on the outside that create the detail exist further down into the model. So when you're printing like this, or you're printing like this, there are pieces that stick out and support inside the model has to be created. The problem is that's wasted filament, there's no need for it. And so what you could do is clean up the inside of both of these models digitally so that no support is needed on the inside where it's not gonna be seen. For now though, uh, I do need to put this together and I'll do that maybe on a stream. Uh, thanks for watching. If you print this or if you want to print this, the link is in the description and I'd love to see your results from this. Thanks for your support on Patreon. Thanks for your support via YouTube Red and thanks for everybody who lets the ads play. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, Star Wars is awesome and high five.